this full of dice. My name is Matt, and this is the moment some people have been waiting for. Um, <laughs> it is May 1st. This is the officially, we are officially done doing auditions for my online Pathfinder game. Uh, as of now, there are 14 in-character audition videos, which is just phenomenal. It's more than I thought I was going to get, and man, some of these videos were just were just awesome. Uh, you know, just great voices, great characters. Um, there were some really creative ones, like uh, Natural 20 Films and DM Yin did, like, some really creative ones that, you know, made me laugh, and um, yeah, all your, all your auditions just, just really impressed me a lot, and, um, I'm really glad that I, like, sort of spurred on all of these videos, and, um, yeah, just very creative, very unique, and, um, well, I know everyone's wanting to know, who did I pick for the party? Well, before I tell you who I picked for the party that's gonna be going to Northrend, I have a surprise. Every single person who auditioned, all 14 of you, are going to play. And this has been, I decided this before I even put out the call for auditions. Every single one of you is going to get to play. And I told myself before I put the video out, however many people audition, I'm going to find a way for every single one of those people to be able to play in a game GM by me. So here's what's going to go down. I've got 14 people wanting to play. So there's going to be three parties of four, five, and five. All three of these parties are going to be going out in separate directions, questing simultaneously. So even though we're going to do the Northrend adventure first, and that's going to take a couple weeks, after that we're going to do another adventure with a party that's going to the south, and that adventure will be happening simultaneously to the one in the north. So you guys will be able to affect each other's campaigns in, in, in what you do in your own. So, that's pretty exciting. Um, so let me just announce the, the first party, and the way that I've split these parties up is I've just sort of, some of it's random, but it's also just what party sort of makeups I think would be interesting, and also there were certain characters that I thought would be better suited for, for one party or the other one. So the first party, the one that's going to be playing on May 8th, we have Dawnforge cast with Brogthar. We have Movie in a Blender with Mollerman. We have The Boosty Boy with Atticus Tamor. And we have Mark Williams playing Kervos. So that is going to be the first party. The second party, which is going to be playing probably a week or two after the first one, we have Bit3 Gamer Gal with Nora Gamble. We have Captain Gothnog with Onyx. We have Meister Umbreon with Alistair Webb. We have 100 Roach with Theron. And we have Natural 20 Films with his mysterious Lurker character. So that's the second party. And the third party, third and final party, is going to be Gamer Cross playing Adol, Dorgon AL07 playing Sombra Volcus, Dave Godzilla playing Aelin Samuels, DM Yin playing Dojima Yetsu, and Kantutsky17 playing Thomas Thanner. So those are the parties, and I'll, I'll, I'll put up uh, a list here. So if you auditioned, if you auditioned, you put a video, and you just heard your name, here's what I need you to do. I need you to add me on Facebook, because we're going to coordinate all of this on Facebook. It's just the, the easiest way to do it. So um, there's going to be a link down below in the description box with my with my Facebook. Go to that link and send me a friend request, and if you could please in the friend request say, hey, it's so-and-so from YouTube, so I know who you are, and then I can add you and also add you to the group that I'm going to be coordinating all of this from. And from there, we'll coordinate the Roll20 stuff and Google Hangout stuff and the scheduling stuff and make sure everyone is on board and everyone is good to go and everyone is going to get to play. And if I need to, I can move the parties around. If like a certain player is like, hey, I can't play this Wednesday, but I can play in a, in a couple weeks, I'll be like, okay, I'm going to move you to the next party and move someone else forward. So yeah, should be pretty easy to coordinate here, and, and I'll handle all of that. But I do need you to 
uh, add me add me on Facebook. So that link will be below. Um, so that's going to be it for this video, guys. I'm really excited to do this game, and I, I hope you guys have fun. I hope I can deliver with the campaign like the same way that you guys deliver with the, with the in-character videos, and I'm, I'm really excited to see these characters interact with each other. I'm going to leave you with a little preview of the campaign that we're all going to be playing in together called Sundered Throne. So thanks, everyone. Can't thank you enough. Take care, and happy gaming, all. Karn, the Stone of the North. A flat, rocky region dotted with sparse, dark forests and high, craggy peaks. Karn might be considered bleak, yet possesses its own bitter, cold beauty. It is a hard land of hard men, of stone and iron and blood. War is a constant, and even the most simple of common folk has learned to defend themselves. Forty-five years ago, King Morris Grey died airless. Before his death, King Morris proclaimed that none would sit upon the stone throne of Karn who were not worthy. Legend tells that he raised his mighty sword, Lux, high above his head, and split the throne in two with a single mighty blow. The last rightful king of Karn, King Morris's death resulted in a void of power. The twelve lords of Karn saw their chance and swooped in to claim the now sundered throne. War has raged across the shattered kingdom of Karn ever since. The common folk pray for an end to the bloodshed, while the twelve lords and their descendants vie for power. Only a true heir would end the unceasing battle, but none exists. None until today. <laughs>